You will need the following supplies to get started. Today we're going to look at ancient Greek pottery. We're going to look at how ancient Greek potters use line as decoration on pottery and shape and form according to their function. We're going to look at the hydria form used for carrying water. We're also going to look at negative and positive space. Negative space is the space around an object and positive space is the object itself. For example, the figures on these pots are the positive space. The one on the left is in black and the one on the right is a reddish orange. The space around the figures is the negative space. The figures on the left were done earlier because the use of what's known as the black figure technique, where the figures are painted in black and lines were scraped away. Later, in 530 BC, red figure painting was introduced. It was a more complex three-step process which allowed for more variation. Ancient Greek vase painting allows us a window into the past, showing scenes of mythology stories of battles, gods and goddesses, and of everyday life. So let's get started. You're going to start out by using your brown sheet of construction paper, and you want to turn it lengthwise so that it's longer, and you're going to fold it in half. And you're going to open it up so it's similar to a book. This is important because when you're drawing out your hydra vase, you want to make sure that it starts off on the fold because you're going to be cutting this out to make it symmetrical. So start by making a line using pencil and then you're going to bring it down and start to create the shape of the vase. So this curves. So you have the neck of the vase and now the handle and I'm tracing over with pen so you can see it a little bit better. So we're going to fast forward this a little bit. You're going to cut this out. And this is why it was important to make sure that you start on that fold so that you don't end up with two separate pieces. You have one piece. You fold it again so that you get that little space. So then you're going to start with your ruler and you're just going to create lines and this is where your patterns are going to go. So you just want to space it about an inch in between and that is up to you. Just bring it down and then leave an open space because that's where your scene is going to be added and just keep doing that. Again starting with pencil and then lining with your sharpie so that you can see it. So now you want to decide if you're going to be using the black figure technique where the positive space is in black or a red figure painting where the positive space would be in brown. In my case, I have chosen the black figure technique. So all of my positive space will be in black, including my figure and my uh, patterns. So right now you can see that I'm adding uh, different patterns and line to create my vase. So once you've done this, you're going to start to create a scene of everyday life right now. So what is happening in your everyday life? What is the window into 2020? In my case, I am drawing myself sitting at a computer. And so this would be my scene of everyday life right now. So you can see I am starting with the figure using the uh, gesture drawing and then I'm adding tables and art supplies and a work area. Once you are done, you want to take your piece, turn it around, add glue to the backing. Make sure you fill the entire space with glue. And then you're going to take your black piece of paper and you're going to line it up. Make sure that it's centered and then place it down and give it a good rub so that it stays down and it's flat. Then you're ready to post to Art Sonia. Make sure to photograph it and then add it to your portfolio and you're ready to clean up. Make sure you put everything away, all your supplies, and you are done.